uh, we are back with the uh, override control in SCL. Uh, for override control, we may have uh, several values. Um, some of them can be output of PID controllers, and some of them will be the constant, the minimum uh, opening of a valve. So three, four uh, values will enter a selector. Uh, this is this can be a selector block, override block, or min max uh, block. And based on the values, we uh, choose we choose the proper output. So, uh, in this example, we will have the maximum selector. We should develop a selector block. Uh, the selector in our selector block, we have two inputs. Uh, we get the two inputs and we generate the maximum. So, uh, but uh, this selector can be used two times uh, for three inputs. First, we generate the maximum for these two and the output of the first max selector will be 18 here. Again, we select the max between the previous max and 20, the last uh, input, and the output will be 20. In a real machine, these values are dynamic. Some of them can be constant, and some of them uh, will be dynamic values, and um, the output may change, some steps may uh, happens uh, possibly we are 20 after a while we may jump to 70 based on the uh, process conditions so we need to have a velocity limit block in OB30 so we need to make sure that the cyclic interrupt is 100 ms yes it's 100 ms or 0.1 uh, second, uh, we have the trend. We created the WinCC professional application to log these variables. So let us function test the. Um, let us function test. So the minimum is uh, twenty five. So we put the PID controllers in manual, and we increase the manual values like. 35 the PID output of PID 1 is 35 so 35 will be output the output is getting close to 35 what about if I change the output to 40 so you can see that we have the increase let me create a bigger jump here like 90 90 will be output because uh, between 25, 90, and 40, uh, 90 is the out, 90 is the max. I put one of the PID output to zero. It's still 90 is the maximum. We will try to reach to the maximum here. So you can see that we reached to the max and now we will uh, put the output, put one of the PID to zero. And you can see that we just uh, move quickly to 25. 25 is the minimum value and we go directly to 25. So um, I pause the video here and you you have the source project and you can play with this uh, override selector and uh, we move to the next topic